Hello Epic Hero! I'm so excited because a couple days ago I received this in the mail. My second published book by me and my brother Adam called There's a Werewolf in My School. And look at the inside. So shiny. Got your table of contents. You got your time passing markers. <laughs> it's just beautiful. So as you can see it says Myth Book 1 because this is the first in a series um, about this kid, Harry, Harry Wolfgang, who uh, his principal, he's at school minding his own business, when his principal tells him that there is a werewolf at his school. A couple of weird things have already started happening at his school, but this kind of makes sense of all of it, but also freaks him out. So. He's a bookworm, he is a fantasy nerd, and his dad is a fantasy nerd, and so he decides that with these tools he is going to figure out who the werewolf is. Actually, the principal asks him to do this, so he decides he's going to help. He's going to figure out who the werewolf is, and he's going to stop him. And along the way, his friends get wrangled into it, and a couple enemies to figuring out who this werewolf is. There's clues along the way that it could be the girl that he has a crush on, and it could be his best friend who had always wears a ski cap to cover up his head and ears. Um, and loves crafting and baking cookies and trees. It could be his frenemy who he runs into who's super short and even though he's 13 already has a beard and uh, likes uh, gardening. It could be, you know, a lot of other strange and fascinating kids at his school, but he's gonna figure this out. My brother Adam and I started writing this when I was 15 probably, which I guess was right after I published Fairy Tale. Well, no, I didn't publish it yet. I had just written it when I was 15, but I didn't publish it until a couple of years ago. But anyway, yeah, so I just finished my first book, and this was my next project. We grew up on a farm, and him and I used to take care of the chickens together, so we brainstorm every time we took care of the chickens, we brainstorm every time we were cleaning up the kitchen. It became a really cool thing. I'm actually way more proud of this than I am of Fairy Tale because not only did I write it with somebody else, but, um, <laughs> we, I had like two different editors that I hired to do it, to run over it. I had a um, bunch of beta readers, like a ton of beta readers. I don't even know how many. Uh, it had like a bazillion drafts, like completely lost count. Uh, and it also had test readers that in this website where you can hire test readers in the age range. So I got middle school kids to read this and give me their thoughts on it. So it went through tons of revisions tons of redrafting. Um, I hired somebody to do the cover for it. <laughs> a lot of time and money went into making this book what it is and, a, and like just Adam and I worked for years on fleshing out the characters and their backstory and the world and we already have a whole series planned so this is just the beginning of the adventures of these kids. It's really a dream come true to see a book like mine. I, I feel like it actually it actually became what I wanted it to become, you know? I brainstormed all these series ever since I was like nine. I have brainstormed like whole se fantasy series. I don't think any of them were good enough to actually make a series. I love fairy tale, and I will always love fairy tale, and in fact fairy tale is getting sequels and revisions of its own. Um, but this is right now the thing that I'm proudest of. Even though it's aimed at like middle school kids, I find it entertaining. And that also means it's a quick read. Like, you could probably get through it in a day if you think it's, you know, compelling enough, which hopefully it is. I love these characters. Like, I can't wait to explore, like, their next adventures and everything, and which is already in the works. So, even though this took, like, years, I guess, like, almost 10 years, um, if you think about from the moment we started when I was 15 to now, I'm 24, which is crazy. But, I don't think the other books will take quite as long because now we know how the style is and we know a lot more of the characters are, I already know the editors and things, and I feel like in that whole time, Adam and I were both becoming better writers, and now we work better together and we work better individually, so, plus we're going to sort of, we have a better system for writing the others. So if you want to find out anything, everything there is about Myth Book 1, there's also the Myth Book 1 page on the description which has Harry's Instagram in it and uh, any, all the other content related to it. It's published on paperback on my blog and you can order it on there or you can also order a Kindle version if you want. 
and uh, let me know what you think of it. Thank you so much. And uh, oh, one more announcement. I just joined this site called Tapas or Tapastic. I think it's just Tapas, yeah. Uh, where I'm going to, when I publish, start publishing my comic, my Android comic, I'm going to be publishing it on that. And I'm probably also going to be publishing chapters of my book, of my books, like this one, like Fairy Tale, on there for people to read. So if you want to support me, obviously, buy copies of the book. But I am also going to be publishing them on Tapas for, for people to read. Um, so yeah, that's a place where you, can, where you can be reading this. I haven't published it yet, but my link to my Tapas is in the description. Um, you can just go ahead and follow me on there, and then when, as soon as I publish uh, chapters of this book, Fairy Tale, and uh, Android, which is going to be, that's going to be the only place you can find Android. Well, actually, yeah, for a while it's going to be the only place you can find Android. Then you'll be notified when I do that. Um, yeah, I'll probably also mention it in the video. But anyway, yes, thanks so much for watching and for supporting and following and all the things. Uh, go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more from an artistic nerd. That's me, as I stumble through life, art, and geekdom. <laughs> and uh, always remember that we are epic heroes today and every day of our lives. And I'll see you in the next video.